What's up gamers, Red Dragon here, and we are less than a week away from E3 2014. Looking forward to this, and I know you all are too, because this is something we've been looking forward to, because uh, I know that the consoles, since they're brand new, there are still, uh, you know, not a whole lot of selections going on when it comes to games, so we're all looking forward to what's going to be coming right around the corner. Now, first, I do want to point out you are watching some UFC gameplay. The demo just hit today on PS4 and Xbox One, so you can go download that and check it out. Me personally, I'm not a big um, lover of this type of genre because you have to learn so many combinations and everything, and I've never been really one for wanting to sit down and really learn it. You know, that's just me personally. Uh, but as far as the movements go, the the way the fighters react and look and everything, it's getting so much more realistic. So uh, I thought that it was pretty impressive myself. And at the end, you do get to see a knockout, and the way the guy just falls over, I do love that. So... As far as E3 2014 is concerned, who's going to win it? You know, I think the group who wins it is the group that brings forward the most games that people want to play. I think it's pretty much that simple. Uh, not necessarily the most games, because you can have a large number of games. I can have, you know, an insane amount of games on my cell phone, but it doesn't necessarily mean that my cell phone is my primary gaming device. You know, I can have a million games, but a lot of them are junk that I don't care to play. So I want to see some games that I do want to play. And the other thing that is kind of concerning is we are hearing about more and more games that are coming, you know, that look great, but have a release date that's set in 2015. So one thing that I'm really hoping that we're going to see this year is a lot of games that are coming out this year. And I'm not sure how many of those we are actually going to see. I know we just recently heard The Witcher 3 has been delayed until, I believe it was like February 2015, uh, we just heard about The Order 1886. Uh, that's been delayed uh, till 2015. The Division, which I'm not sure if we can call it a delay because I'm not sure anybody actually said it was coming out this year. Uh, but uh, that is a game that definitely looks really good. And, uh, of course, Valve Steam Machine. We haven't heard about that in a long time, but that has also been recently pushed back to 2015. So we're hearing about all these games. Oh, also... Batman Arkham Knight, that was the latest one. That's that's the one that made me think about that. Uh, because today, they just showed a video trailer for the Batmobile, which I am excited about finally getting to run around in the Batmobile. And uh, they did announce in that trailer that the release date is in 2015 as well. So a lot of games are going to be coming out in 2015, and hopefully 2015 isn't the year of games, you know? Um, so we've been waiting, uh, you know, a long time uh, to get a lot of games on the next generation consoles, or I guess people get upset whenever I say next gen. I'm just trying not to confuse it with the old last gen. If I say current gen, I guess that still is the same, but you all know what I mean. Some people just like to bitch for no reason. But anyway, so what I want to see, games, games, games. And who's going to bring the games? I'm excited to find out. As I've said, I do plan on getting a PlayStation very soon, especially whenever they got something coming out that I really want to play. Uh, War Thunder, that also just hit today on the PlayStation 4, so there's another game on the PlayStation 4 today uh, that if you have the system, you can go download. I've played it. I played that game a few times on this channel before on the PC. And uh, as far as other things that we're going to see, you know, I'm sure we're going to hear about Project Morpheus for the PlayStation 4. I'm excited to find out uh, some games that they've got in development for it. As far as Xbox goes, you know, are they going to bring up Connect, you know, they just announced that they're going to reveal a Xbox without the Connect for sale. It's coming up pretty soon. Um, so are they really going to push anything that has Connect features? I don't know. We'll find out. I'm sure there will be a few games there. I think there has to be in order to make sure that uh, Microsoft uh, keeps its promise to fellow Xbox users who have said, you know, they're going to continue to support the Connect. And uh, also, we might hear a little bit about uh, Cortana which, of course, is the uh, personal assistant that is voice-activated. I was uh, watching or reading an interview with uh, one of the guys from Microsoft, and they were saying, you know, we were looking at actually starting off uh, E3 
with Cortana, but they said it didn't just feel quite right. They didn't want to force or push it. Um, so I think Microsoft is definitely going to be focusing on the games this year, and uh, hopefully PlayStation uh, does as well, because that's what it's all about is the games and a little hardware thrown in there as well. I want to know what games are you looking forward to most? So far, I do have a list of all the games that uh, have been announced uh, as of right now for E3 2014. And of course, there's going to be some surprises too that we haven't heard of, of some new IPs hopefully coming out. That will be pretty exciting. Post below, let me know who do you think is going to win E3 2014 and what do you think it means to win it? What do they have to bring in order to uh, take that over. I think everybody is kind of in agreement, um, or a lot of people were, that last year PlayStation 4 won it simply by announcing their policies, I think. I'm not necessarily sure that they won it based on the games that they showed off, but everybody was impressed with the policies. Now this year, I think whoever wins it, it has to be about the games. That does it for me, the Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.